Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So, I think we can all agree that this is probably one of the most anticipated comeback of this year. Like, easily. I have like so many mixed feelings about this because I could swear that Psycho was like two months ago, but at the same time it feels like it's been forever ago, like ages ago. Basically, I just think that time goes by very, very weirdly. So like I have this weird feeling where I'm like, I've missed them, but also I feel like they have been there all along. <laughs> anyway, so I personally got the two versions of the album, like the jewel box uh, case or something, and the photo book version. Now, if I understand correctly, the photo book version has two versions, it's random. I personally really like the version when they look like Gulliver, you know, like the very giant uh, character in that tiny town. I personally really like those pictures. I really hope to get that version and I'm thinking of unboxing like a bunch of albums with this one included hopefully uh, on my birthday in like a few weeks so yeah stay tuned for that. So um, Queendom is said to be a pop dance song with the message that we are all queens of our lives and that together we shine more beautifully. So this is the type of message that I Stand by, I love it, so I'm really, really excited. So without any further ado, I have the English captions on Queendom, let's go. Seriously though, coming back after so long with this. She spoke. <laughs> Is that supposed to be an owl? Was it? She just said it off with that I don't understand. <laughs> Actually, a lot more. Soft? They are Disney princesses. Wonderland, right? Damn, she's stunning. Rapper Joy. We do it better. That's what she said. Mm hmm. The new color is called together. Oh my god, this is gonna be stuck in my head, right? <laughs> this is basically saying this is their world and we are living in it. And I'm okay with it. Like seriously, I don't I don't mind. <laughs> I honestly don't know what I was expecting from this song because I read uh, a comment saying that the border between the red and the velvet concept is kind of like blurred at this point and they are more than capable of doing both and each every time, if that makes sense. So I honestly didn't really know what to expect from this song. But I think I was maybe like 
expecting something a lot more energetic, which is something that I have been used to hear from them, especially during the summer. But this one is so much more soft and laid back almost. It's still very catchy and it has this quirkiness about them, you know, about the song and everything. But the chorus is so much more chill, if that makes sense compared to some of their other summer songs. I feel like right off the bat, I can tell that this song is going to take me a few listens to get accustomed to. But I know for a fact that in a few listens, I will be listening to the uh, la di da ba I don't even know what they're saying, but that was catchy. <laughs> My goal is for when I listen to it more than 30 times, I will be able to sing along to that part of the song. It almost feels like, you know that part in the Cinderella movie when the um, godmother is doing her whole spell? Uh, for the for the pumpkin to become like a, a carrosse. I don't know how you say that in, in English, but like, you know when she transforms uh, Cinderella and everything. It kind of felt like it was a spell. Talking about Cinderella, that leads me to say that this music video has a lot of, uh, what is it, Alice in Wonderland references, maybe? I mean, I feel like SM just loves to use CGI and everything, like effect that makes things look a lot like you are hallucinating, you know? And you know how in the dance they're like kind of like knocking on a door and it's almost like they are opening that door to the quindom, to you, and you enter this world of like magical fantasy, uh, Disney princess and Disney princes also type of world where there is no limit, when there is, it's, it feels very childlike. Like the song didn't feel childish, but the world that they have created in here for us felt very like coming back to your childhood but it's also kind of like telling us there's no age uh, to get to that queendom now I know they have done something like this in the past like in um, Oompa Oompa you know they have referenced kind of like some of their older song and I don't know if I'm just like seeing things but like it feels like this music video had a lot of uh, things that reminded me of their past concept. You know, like visual wise, the outfits, some of the outfits were like very really reminiscent of Psycho and Zimzalabim, like the pineapple from Red Flavor and everything. I feel like this whole thing is just a mix of like their old concept all together and this is it. It almost feels like all this time we were on the path to entering the queendom and we have finally made it to the door and like we're not knocking on the door and it, it's opening us up to this wonderful land where we're all queens and kings. I love it. I just love the message of like acceptance, you know, like rainbow completed in all different colors. I think my favorite lyric out of the whole thing is the new color is called together. That's just so freaking beautiful. In unity, we shine brighter, basically. And it, oh, I, just, I just love it. Ah. And honestly, this era, they all shined like equally. I don't feel like there's a member that outshined any other, if that makes sense. I felt like this was very balanced and very fair. Seriously, they look so stunning in this music video. It's insane. I also love how in the beginning they are like introducing the members as also having like a job kind of. So Sugi is like the lost and found mail courrier. Wendy is posi. What is this? Posi miss. What the heck is this? Posi. Pubi... I got. I don't know what Wendy's character is. Joy is delivery writer. Aydin is distribution director. What is Yiri then? Trainee witch. They're witches. Okay, I definitely missed that. They're w witches. That is so freaking cool. Oh yeah, I mean, yeah, magic and everything, definitely. Uh, they're magical. This is... <laughs> Alright, to sum it up, I freaking love the music video. It's bright, it's colorful, it has this fantasy aspect to it. It really does feel like I went back to my childhood, you know, for a second. The song I will have to listen to again. To be frank with you, I don't feel like at this moment, on a first listen like this, there's not really a part of the song that jumps out to me as being extremely catchy, but I know that in the long run, I will end up finding it catchy, you know what I mean? I feel like this is going to be one of the songs that I will qualify as a grower, but I guess only time will tell. I'm just really glad that they're back. I really like the message of it and the music video, that was stunning. Obviously, like as a whole, I really enjoyed it, but like the song, I will have to give it another try. So yeah, I think I'm gonna wrap this up here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next one. Bye.